I can't find my vlogging camera, so I'm using my phone. Uh, so it's a little, yeah. Um, I don't even know if I want to make this video. I've been very back and forth about it. And at first I was like, no, I'm going to make it. Because there are things that I have to say, but now I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I wanted to make a full video post-election, but uh, so, yeah, like a lot of people, my mood has just not been good. Um, doing anything hurts at this point, and it's not just because of that, but that on top of things from my home life uh, really set me off. Um, I spent the entire day yesterday in bed. And I've never done that before. I just stayed the entire day in bed. I've never done that. Um, so that was new. And a lot of things with my friends too. Um, one of them is hospitalized right now. And I just, I don't want to make this and have it be seen that I'm like complaining or asking for attention and like I know I sh shouldn't have to feel this way but this is oftentimes how I feel and I'm not gonna sorry I'm not to make this long but basically I might want to make another video explaining this more in detail because right now I'm just kind of like at a loss for words and I I don't know I'm pretty pretty suicidal right now if I'm being honest so I'm just trying to do things that or distract myself at least so I you know, have a reason to make it at least through today. This week might pick up if because I'm not gonna be home. But since today I'm home, this is what's happening. Um Yeah. I just kind of feel like a lot of people in my life that I've placed importance on only seem to care about me uh, on their terms. And that's honestly how it's been feeling. Um, I finally opened up in family therapy about feeling like I was being criticized for the way that I dress and it didn't go well. Um, so that was a really big, is a really big reason why I'm just depressed as a mother. And I, since then I haven't really, they haven't really shown me the care of my own family. I spent the entire day in bed yesterday and instead of being asked why or being asked what was wrong with me or like any of that, I uh, just got yelled at for not giving in my laundry. I wasn't even checked up on. It sucks. And so now it just feels like, you know, my family only really seems to care about me when we're okay or when they're talking to me or when, God, I hate crying. I can't not cry though because either I'm crying or I'm numb and I'm like staring at the wall forever and this is like my voice I can't even seem to lower it right now it just keeps getting higher because I'm just tired of trying I don't I don't even know this is I think this is the highest I've spoken on my channel for a while um I guess I should be happy like I'm starting tea next month and you know I but nothing seems to be going well for me. And I'm at a point where I'm really starting to question the people that I call my friend. You know, my best friend has been there and I've been reaching out to her. And even if she can't respond in time, she's been there for me. And I have my other friend who's also terrible at replying sometimes. But she's shown me that she's there for me. But, the, but it seems like my other friends, I just... And I don't want to make it, I don't want to make it seem like I'm being shady or that, you know, I'm making this video to say the things that I want to say without saying it to them directly. But it's honestly how I feel that, like, just like my parents, they're only, they only care about me when we're okay, when it's on their conditions. And I don't, I'm tired of, of feeling like, like I'm, like love is conditional. Like I'm, I'm really, I'm sick of it. And that's why I'm really starting to question whether or not they're my friends because if I'm upset and 
my whole life seems like it's falling apart. I don't get responses. I get left on scene and no one really reaches out to me. But when when I'm okay, that's what's, you know, it just seems like I'm, that's when I get, get to be really considered a friend. And I, I'm, I'm constantly putting myself out there for people. And I can, I just don't, I get, you get tired sometimes. I'm tired of feeling like I have to be a rock all the time. I've gotten to that point. And, you know, probably like a month from now, I'll be like, actually, I, I hate talking about my feelings. And I'm never going to talk about any of this again or cry in front of a camera ever again. But right now I'm like so weak that, you know, that's where I am. And I feel like I'm being criticized. Not only by my family, but by, you know, these people who I let, who I let my guard down with. And I don't trust people. I just don't. And it takes so much for me to be able to really open up to someone and just, know, just feeling like I'm being criticized because I don't fully agree with them sucks. Because when I don't see their point, when I don't, when I don't agree with them or when I, when I say or do things that they don't agree with, no they're not there for me but when there's so many things that they would do that I'm not happy with or that I don't I don't agree with and yet that doesn't waver my opinions like I could have I could be a Trump supporter for crying out loud but that doesn't mean that you care for me less and that's honestly what it feels like it's it's getting to that like this is what it feels like to that just that I only matter sometimes and I'm tired of feeling that way. <sighs> That's kind of where I am. And I feel like I needed to let that out loud because if not, it would just sit in my mind and just create more anxiety than I'm already feeling. So yeah, there's not gonna be an intro or outro to any of this right now because I'm just gonna upload it from my phone because it's already here. Um, but yeah.